Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Today um, I will show you um, how to quickly do some regular expression testing uh, on Splunk. Um, um, so this video is for those who use um, Splunk or have used Splunk before. Um, this is just a video to quickly show how you um, use the regular expression in Splunk search. Okay, so let's start. Um, this is my just basic Splunk search uh, head. So I'm just going to type index equals to main. I'll just search time. So you can see I've got all my events here under the index main. But in this example, I would like to go to the source type Linux Secure uh, because I'm interested in port numbers um, under the failed password or Linux Secure um, source type. So here you can see all your logs here. So from this log, I'll show you today that how to capture a particular um, field or area from that log using regular expression. So let's say from this log, I'm interested for this particular area called port number. And you can see there's no port number here. So our port number field here. So I want to capture this particular port number field and create a field here so that um, I get the details of the port numbers every time I do a search. To do that, uh, just copy that log and then we do a test in a website which is called regex101.com um, this is a very useful testing platform you can use your php or javascript python or a different kind of um, uh, platform here so um, so that's two part one is a testing uh, test string and the other one is regular expression so i just copy and paste um, my logs that I'll be um, checking uh, regular expression with. So from this log, I want to use, or I want to capture this particular area, which is port number. To do that, I just type port to start with, and it will automatically select that number. So that shows that I'm going to capture that particular area. So that's port. Now there's a space here. So to cover that, backslash s. And if you need, uh, if you need some help with regular expression uh, details, I found that this particular website is very handy. And you can see some details there. You can see I used backslash s to cover the um, space. So now. I want to capture this port and this number. Okay. Um, to do that, there's there's, there's a few ways I can do. So, the, first of all, if I use, um, well, okay. But before that, we want to capture this port number, but at the same time. We also want to create a group or a field so that we can store all the details of the captured port numbers under that field. Sort of like here. We want something here called port ID or something like that, which will capture all the port number here. So in these logs, you can see one thing is common is port number. It's the port, then a space, then number, then a space, then SSH. And you can see that's the pattern in this current log. So whenever there's a port number, at the end of the port number, there's SSH. So that's the pattern. And that's that's handy to know sometimes because we're going to use this in our regular expression. So let's go back here. So it means we need to use a um, regular expression, which will not only capture this to the port number, but also it will create a field where I can store all the port number. To do that, you can go back here and you can see the expression that says capturing group named so we copy that 
and we paste it here. And you can see, as soon as we paste it here, you can see it created a group called Y and it's capturing the port number. Now, it's not actually capturing the, the actual port number is here. It's 4411, but you can see it's only captured 441. So a digit missing. To avoid the situation, you have to modify your regular expression. As I said earlier, that every logs are different. Um, so this testing platform is really good. But once you have your log, your pattern could be different. So based on that pattern, you need to modify your regular expression a little bit. So in my case, um, I need to do some modification. First of all, I would like to change the group name. Um, so I want to give it a name, a simple port ID, and you can see it's created a port ID. Now I need to capture the port number. One thing to remember, sometimes you could have a four digit port number or two digit port number, so different types. So you want to create a regular expression which will capture the port number correctly, whether it's a two digit, four digit, so they don't have to worry about the numbers. To do that, what I do, just select one dot, with an asterisk mark, that means you can see after the word port and the space where we have here is here. So we use the word port and we use this backslash s to cover that space. Then we create a dot which and a streak mark, which means if you use that, it means after the port number, whatever is your log, it's going to capture everything. Okay, it's going to capture everything, but that's not something we want. We want specifically just that port number just that port number, nothing else. So no additional field or text or characters after the port number. To do that, just use the backslash. So that means it's telling you that port number. So after the port number, use the backslash that's here. So your expression will now capture the port and the port number and you're just telling it oh i've got a space here and so capture after port and before the space so anything in between which is true so anything in between the space and this space capture that is what it's telling okay so if we use that expression so it means even if you log, let's say a two digit log, see, it will only select two. If it's, if it's a one digit, or let's say, for example, one, it will only select one because you, ha you have told the expression that capture only the, the digit, which is here, up to where the space is. So that's, that's, that's where it is. That's the space. So anything between this space and that space, Whatever the number is there, that is your port number. And this is why you use this expression. So once you have the expression, you copy that. You go back to Splunk. Now, to do that in Splunk, we need to type rex, the older field equals to. And I will, um, there will be another video on how to use this um, rex field in Splunk. Um, that's um, I will create a different video, separate video. Um, but for the time being, just um, make sure that you type rex space field equals to underscore raw. So raw, it's just a raw log. And then space, double quote. And within the double quote, you paste that expression that you tested here, and you're satisfied that it's capturing correct port ID. So you copy whole regular expression, paste it in between the double code, and then you search, and you will see it created a field called port ID here, which was missing before. So if I delete that, show you again, 
you'll see what I mean. It's here. There is no port ID. But in order to capture the port ID, and you want to store it in under a field so that you can use it in the future. Just use that expression, and you will see that it has captured the port number from the port ID and, and stored it in a field called port ID. So that's the quickest way um, to test your, and it's always good to test your regular expression separate from your platform. In my case, um, I wanted to use the regular expression in Splunk, so rather than playing around in Splunk and clicking the search button, and you know, rather than doing that, I just do I did all my testing here under the regular expression 101, regex 101. Once I'm happy that that's the port number or that's a regular expression that I want to use, I just simply then uh, paste it under um, uh, in Splunk. So thank you very much for watching my video. Um, there will be a few more videos on the Rex field uh, and Regex field field extractions on Splunk, uh, which will be coming soon. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and if you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching my video.